Hi everyone, this is Meditya Wasesa from the School of Business and Management Institute Technology Bandung, Indonesia. Uh, I'm going to present our work, Sarima and Artificial Neural Network Models for Forecasting Electricity Consumption of a Microgrid-Based Educational Building. Go to the motivations. As we know, yeah, in most uh, countries in the world, are operating under a centralized uh, electricity systems. Yeah, uh, centralized electricity systems usually characterized by large utility companies. Yeah, uh, are operating their uh, large electricity generators in which they produce the electricity and then they transmit the electricity pro uh, productions to the end customer via their uh, transmission networks. Yeah, the uh, for most of the centralized uh, systems, uh, they are using uh, fossil fuel-based uh, energy sources, which cause, uh, of course, uh, severe air pollution. Moreover, the energy con conversion uh, rate is also very low for these fossil fuel energy sources. Uh, it's only about a third of uh, energy content that the coal, for example, uh, is containing, is being converted into electricity, while the remaining is considered as losses. Yeah. Thus, uh, we are in urgent need for uh, alternative energy sources, uh, renewable energy, and alternative electricity systems. That's why the smart microgrid uh, concepts are becoming more and more popular, in which uh, each of the uh, customers, so might say uh, the households, the hospitals, universities can generate its own uh, electricity by using a uh, solar panel, for example. And then uh, after generating uh, the electricity, they can store the electricity. And then, then uh, if there is excess uh, electricity, they can redistribute the electricity to the grid and so on. With this uh, alternative smart microgrid systems, uh, the cost of uh, having the electricity and then the reliability of the electricity uh, consumption and productions are uh, improving. Yeah, uh, in this uh, research context, we use our own building, yeah, the School of Business and Management uh, building, as a living lab. So I might say, yeah, as we can see. Here, yeah, uh, it is six floor buildings, yeah, with a total gross area of more than 6,000 square meter. The up uh, region of the buildings are consisting of several solar panels in which the electricity can be generated and then stored into battery and then uh, can be further distributed into uh, to uh yeah parts of the building for further use it is designed for that yeah and at the heart of this uh microgrid systems is of course this energy management systems yeah the systems which generates uh, the electricity uh generator uh, generation uh, storage and uh management inside the building at the moment uh we have implemented energy monitoring systems in which uh, people can, you know, can observe the energy, the level of energy consumptions in real time yeah, using their uh, devices via the internet connections. What uh, interesting from this is that this energy consumption profile is linked directly to the uh, electricity uh, budget profile. That's why uh there is a need yeah there is an existing need or empirical need to have an accurate uh electricity consumption prediction model why because if you can predict accurately uh, for example the electricity consumption for the next month then you can uh you can have or you can prepare the budget for the electricity more accurately, yeah. Uh, thus, uh, we focus our research, especially in this conference, for building the initial models for uh, electricity consumption for our building. Yeah. From our preliminary studies, there are two 
uh, popular models that are openly used for this purpose. One is artificial neural network and one is uh, time series based, which is the seasonal autoregressive integrated moving average or SARIMA models. Yeah? Uh, different papers uh, has different uh, findings. Some says that neural networks are better, some says that uh, SARIMA is better. But uh, here we just want to apply both models uh, for our prediction pur purposes and see which one is better. Yeah? Uh, for our model development, we imported the historical data record of uh, our building's electricity consumptions, uh, more than 2 million lines of data uh, are being used, yeah, the raw data, and then uh, the data set of more than or almost uh, uh, 300 days are being used, yeah, from the 1st of May 2019 until the end of January 2020. That's the data sets that we are using. And then we built a Sarima model out of it uh, and also an artificial neural network model out of the data. Yeah. And the result shows that, uh, so we, we built the Sarima models and also the neural network model uh, for two prediction contexts. One is for the one month ahead uh, prediction scenario in which we try to predict the electricity consumption for the upcoming months, the upcoming 30 days or 31 days, depends. And then the result of the one month ahead forecast is, uh, shows that the artificial neural network models are better than the SARIMA models, both in terms of the root mean squared error or RMSE and also the mean absolute error of or MAE. Yeah, that's for the one month ahead context. But for the one day ahead prediction scenario, we find uh, different findings. Yeah, uh, in terms of RMSE, the neural network uh, has a better prediction score, which is lower score. But in terms of mean absolute error, the SARIMA has a better value, which means that the neural network uh, uh, prediction models tend to, you know, elicit prediction values that are more into the extreme values, while the uh, SARIMA models tend to moderate its prediction uh, values. Yeah. So the end results is, of course, the neural networks models perform distinctively better for the one month ahead uh, prediction context. But in terms of one day ahead prediction context, uh, even though neural networks has better RMSE, but uh, SARIMA models uh, has a better MAE, which means that the predictions of the SARIMA models uh, uh, tend to have less extreme uh, prediction errors compared than the uh, neural networks model. Yeah, I think that's the main uh, findings. And then the implications, of course, for the one month uh, ahead forecast, if we, we can have uh, accurate prediction models, it can be used to estimating the monthly electricity budget more accurately. And then for one day uh, forecast models can be used for more operational policies, such as event scheduling, meeting scheduling, and so on so that it can be set to customize the electricity consumption within the day. And in the context of automated energy management systems driven by intelligent agent, of course, uh, a prediction models is always important, especially in the context of uh, revenue management. Uh, and uh, I believe this exercise or these findings can be further developed to uh, to find the more accurate prediction models and and of course can be further developed to build um, uh, revenue management assistance for electricity consumption, for example. Uh, and other things is, you have, of course, if you want to improve the prediction values, uh, you can try by uh, enlarging your data sets or also trying out different uh, prediction models. Yeah. 
we are limited to two models only, but of course, we, we, we are also in ongoing attempt to build more accurate uh, approach yeah, other than us and, and, and Salima. I think that's all uh, from us. Uh, thank you very much for listening to our presentation.